welcome back to Crochet Creations and Addictions video number 32. <laughs> Grab a cup and join me. We have a big episode today, a little bit bigger than uh, I anticipated. <laughs> so I guess I really should get right into it. I have a peppermint mocha a creamer in a Folgers and I love it. Um, whips. We'll get right down to it. We'll get to just about everything I can think of to talk about today. But I'm going to start with my whips because I want you to see. I had a lady love the Yoda hat so much that she asked me to make an adult size. So I picked out this colorway from Yarn Bee. And uh, it is... Yeah, Rustic Romantic, and it's got bamboo in it. Uh, it's a four medium. Well, actually, it's not bamboo. <laughs> I should read before I assume. 85% uh, acrylic and 15% hemp. And it has a little bit of, like, a, a wash, like jean wash. And I, I kind of thought that this was a good colorway. Um, I was just looking through my stash trying to find green, you know. So I started that in the adult size. She tells you to use an H hook. I really uh, tend to disagree. The size is coming out way too small. And I may just rip this out and use an I. We'll see. I'm, I'm continuing. And, it, and like I said, it, it, it barely fits down over my ears. So I'm thinking that uh, I need to go up a hook side. So that's one item that I didn't show you on Sunday's Live. And then my hat in, well, you know, I probably should wait till the end for this one. Um, yeah, I'll wait because I have a finished hat too. So I'll wait on that. Um, what else do I have? Speaking of the live, I might as well just go right in into that one. Um, <clears throat> Sunday's live was a big success. We started a my very first live mini make along on the show. You have two weeks to make this cowl. It is my pattern. You can get the pattern from either place. Watch the video from Sunday's live from Krista's closet. That would be live number two, <clears throat> or go to my Facebook page, go to the announcements tab and find the post for finished product projects to make this cowl. And, um, uh, prizes for that cowl are your choice of two skeins of this Woolies thick and quick in this beautiful city lights colorway. This has 20% wool in it. You get two skeins if you're the winner and a stitch marker that is, again, Outlander inspired. And that is one of those babies. It is beautiful. Or you can skip the wool and take two skeins of Premier Serenity Chunky. And this is a five bulky. And this colorway is, and I forget, Eclipse. And it's a tweed, nice navy blue. And you would still get the, uh, I think I had that backwards. Maybe not. You would still get this uh, stitch marker if you chose not to take the woolies. So those are the two prizes from Sunday's Live that will be... Um, given out two weeks from now. Next Sunday's live will just be uh, regular Christie's Closet live and it will have a D stash in it of some sort or another. But what I'm going to do is every so often I'm going to do a mini make along. And so I decided to bring out this Serenity Chunky on uh, Sunday and I started a second cowl with it 
and then you all said we wanted to do more Outlander things so I decided to design some mitts with it instead so I'm not going to finish my cowl I'm going to go ahead and use that yarn to do the next two uh, inspired items so I'm I'm going to share that with you in a couple weeks <laughs> uh-huh and then let's see what else I want to talk about okay we had two brand new challenges for Valentine's Day pop up last week I did mention in the live but I'm gonna mention it here now because this is a regular episode so you know so I have a crochet Valentine challenge in the Facebook page and what that is of course the theme is Valentine's anything crocheted in Valentine's just pop your project in it has to be done in 2021 and um, the prize for that will be two skeins of this beautiful red tweed this one is called Claret and you get two skeins of the five bulky with 109 yards and it's a premier also really soft this stuff is beautiful um so that's the crochet one and then if you want and you want to do a knit one there's a knit uh post you can do both as long as the projects are knit and crochet they're separate challenges you can you can do every single challenge I have. You just cannot double dip. So if my name is on a challenge, you can't make something for one and put it in two uh, challenges. That's all. That's really all. Other than you have to have a United States address to um, claim any monetary yarn prizes. Um, 18 years of age. And what I was I reaching for? Oh, I was reaching for the knit prize. That is going to be two skeins of Charisma. This is a loops and threads. And it is a five bulky also. You get two skeins of that. It's the same yard, 109 yards. And the colorway on this one is Sunny Day. So that's the knit uh, Valentine Knit for a Bit Challenge Prize. What else? Okay that's up and coming i was telling you that there's an up and coming uh new uh make along with stephanie from stephanie's yarn escape and that'll be coming up in another month so look for that okay now let me think i have some things written down so i do want to announce that the challenge that I did in the year 2020 with Christy Cook from T Doddles, the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge, is not going to end. <laughs> I know you're probably all excited for that. Now, I would like to go over the rules uh, real quick here. I will post a post later on tonight in the Happy Scrappy page. Remember, you cannot use the same items you make for Happy Scrappy and anything that I have my name on. There's there's separate challenges, but you cannot double dip. Um, well, we have a decision we made today and we decided to do a quarterly. So that means that one of us is going to do the first three months. The second one will do the second three months. The third will do the third three months, and the four, fourth three months will be the last person. So every three months, there will be a new challenge. Now, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to announce that challenge tonight. And so you will all have your work cut out for you because, number one, Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge only, um, we would like posts to only be things to do with the challenges. So if you have a pattern you would like to share, with the group that is wonderful as long as it's in the theme um, and we would enjoy seeing yours um, the other thing is post for any self-promotion 
any other things besides the happy scrappy theme will be removed by administration without any reason um it just it, the feed gets so full and that was for one month and so for three months it's going to get even fuller and with all we have on our plates all we want to do is go in there find who made projects for the theme and put them in the list and pick a winner we don't want to go through all this other stuff that has nothing to do with happy scrappy so that is just exciting because then it keeps it to what I want to see and what Christy needs to do when she goes there to look so what is the theme are you ready it's not as exciting as do you want to make a snowman because huh, it's not snowmen <laughs> and I love snowmen so that was fun for me but I am looking for you to spring into your scraps and come out with some great ideas using just scraps or your favorite one ball that you don't know what you're going to do with and come up with some scraps for spring scrappy ideas for spring so yes um maybe i will come up with a few to put in there but i'm expecting to see bright yellows and pinks and purples and you know stuff for spring so if you would like to do that with me, I will be posting or well, I'll probably do is I will pick out a prize soon enough and I'll announce that and show it here on my channel when I get a chance and when I have decided what that is, <laughs> you know, it'll be great. So that is awesome for Happy Scrappy and the quarterly will run from now from January through March 30th and i will pick a winner at the end of that then christy will do the next three months so she'll start in april and run through june um and she will finish with a prize for that second quarter so that's how that's going to work this year i hope you all will still join us there's over 400 people in that group it's wonderful I have a lot of smile mail to share with you also today. I got a, a bag. Let's see. I got a bag. I traded with Lori for some knit crate. I traded her some and she sent me some back. So I got the Audine Wool's Twinkle DK to go along with mine from last month so I got she's not impressed with twinkle yarn so I have four of these now Woohoo! and I think I have other things that I can put with it too so who knows what I'm gonna do with that that's a DK and it is uh, a Christy glass knits uh, uh, she helped come up with the colors and the idea of this beautiful merino wool 80%, 10% cashmere, and 10% Stellina, 250 yards. So my last knit crate for 2020, I did stop my subscription, will be four skeins of this. So that is very nice. Thank you, Lori. That was a nice thing of you to do. And I sent her, like I said, I sent her something in return. And then I got this bag today, and who knows, I ordered a bunch of stuff. Sometimes they send it together. Sometimes they separate your order and send it separately. So I'm not sure if this is something that I threw in what it is. Oh, okay, yep, mm-hmm. There's some, some things in here that I ordered, so yeah. All right, let's see. I ordered these rings. These rings are from Amazon, and I plan on using these for my gnomes, my gnome towels. I'm going to make them, I'm telling you. And these are the 3-inch size. So these, are, these are nice and big. They're going to um, give you plenty of room to throw your towels in here. And, um... They were very reasonable priced. Um, 
I'm thinking somewhere around $13. Let me see if there's a slip in here. Yep, there it is. What does it say? Yeah, $13.99 and you get 32 of these. Come on, that is an awesome price. And then these won't rust because I was using the metal hook. So Amazon, 32 pieces, 3 inches. And, you know, so they're they're sold by Shappy Online, whoever that is. But if you Google, or I mean, if you go to Amazon and you do a search on 30 or a three inch small ring toss ring, it, they're saying this for a game. So <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. What else did I get? I got another box from Amazon and this one has tape on it. <laughs> Let's see what we have do here. I and I ordered some more bags because I was running low on the size bags that I use all the time. So they're in here. I buy these medium size ones and I use them all the time and they are 200 in a pack for 16.99 they're poly poly envelopes and then I got some teething rings I use these rings for teething rings I put them on my loveys I usually put a nuki on the one corner an animal on and a teething ring on the other and they're just wooden uh, natural wood rings and these are uh, $7.99 for 20 of them so that's a heck of a deal and then I in this box I also ordered some of these circular needles by Co-Knit. K-O-Knit. These are singular circular needles, 16 inch. And I did not have any of this two, these two sizes. This is an 8 millimeter. And this is a 9 millimeter. And I needed some extras, so I went ahead and ordered these. They're only $5.99. It's worth a try. They have uh, what appears to be a cord that is similar to the Chai Gu. So I'm going to try them. One's red and one is purple. I'm going to go ahead and try them. And they just they seem very similar. But for $5.99 a piece, you can't go wrong. I got them on Amazon. The K.O. Knit Single Circular Needle. Okay, now what else did I get? I got a Knit Picks book. I told you I had lots of smile mail. Lots of it. So these, this company is some, a company that I've been grabbing a couple of things from. And they're, I ordered some stuff. So I have that here today too. And I have some good news. They had a couple things on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed some of these. These are tape measures. They are retractable, and they say knit happy. So you will find these are going to be thrown in uh, one of the make-alongs this year. And then I went ahead and I got some of those uh, fixed knit pick needles. And that's because I wanted, like I said, I wanted some more of these fixed size. So I got one in the US 10, 6 millimeter, the knit picks. One in the 7. And one in the 8 millimeter. So now I have two sets of the eight and the nine, or the eight, yeah, the eight. So I got six, seven, eight, and nine. I got two eights. So 
that way I can make a couple of hats in the bulky because I didn't have those. I just, I thought I did, but I didn't have any, anything more than a, a five millimeter. I'm like, why? And then I realized I did have a couple in the sets, but they were 24 inch cords. There was no 16, so I needed them. And then I got, I had to try some of the wool of the Andes tweed. So I got two, uh, two each of the color um, vi Vineyard Heather. Isn't that gorgeous? 110 yards of the tweed. And this is 80% Highland wool and 20% Donegal tweed. So I got two in the Vineyard Heather. Got two in the Apple Blossom Heather. And two in the Barn Door Heather. So all three in my colorways, in my color wheel. And I'm planning on hats with those. And I'm going to be playing with the colors. So that ought to be fun. All right. Let's see. What else? What, what else did I do? Okay, I think that damage is done on the happy mail. <laughs> happy mail? Smile mail? Who am I kidding? This is smile mail. Did I forget what and who I was talking to? I don't know. So yeah, they say they have new pattern collections. And I do know they do have some free patterns on nitpicks. I don't know whether or not everyone has gone over there. But they uh, have uh, We Crochet is the sister site to Nitpicks, which is cool. So there's, it's a thing you need to go on over to We Crochet and check it out. And I'm, I haven't even looked through here yet. I will be. I will be looking through here um, later on. And maybe I'll share that with you in the next one. What else? Oh, I have my blanket. I've been working on it and I have a bunch of it done. This is the blanket I'm doing out of the uh, Leisure Arts magazine. It's a uh, brochure. It is this blanket here called Snowflake. I'm doing it in a bulky five from Big Twist. It's a rainbow classic with Halo. Yep, and that's all I have left of the first game. So you know I did some damage last night. <laughs> I'm using a J-hook, and that's the pattern so far. And it appears to be um, enough to finish the repeat the third time. So that's the first, let's see, your repeat runs from here to here. So that's the second repeat, and then I, I think I have enough to do that that third repeat. And then I'm going to have to make a decision if it's big enough, or if I want to add on another skein of the blush in slightly different uh, yarn. But that's okay. That's okay. We know who it's for. It's for my granddaughter, so... Her mama saw it, and she wants it that way to keep it. <clears throat> I was challenged by Stephanie at Stephanie's Yarn Escape to use the book that she sent me in uh, the 12 Days of Gnomes. And so I have this book, and these are the booties that everyone wanted to see. So I went ahead and grabbed out some purples well actually i didn't have any pinks that i liked that went together so i went ahead and made them in purple so there is the kimono booty this is done in a six three to six month size and the button is a flower and you and you can unbutton this if you need to to put it on and off so there is the set of kimono booties <laughs> They are cute. So there's your booty of the month for January. <laughs> and then um, 
Oh, I did have one other smile mail, and I did show it on the live. So I'm going to show it again if I have it out. Do I have it out? I think I put it away. Yes, it's way over there. I'll show it some other day. I don't need to show it today. I'm going to go ahead and show you my hats for January. Hats, hats, and more hats for January is being spotlight yarn for that is the premier woods i say that every time it's premier mere woods <laughs> for medium in the colorways chipmunk beautiful yarn it i am liking it more and more now that i'm using it 170 yards in a skein 100 percent acrylic and it is very soft it is manageable i am knitting it in the Ross hat. All the things I talk about will be linked below. You guys all know this. That's how far I am in the knit version. I did do a few rows. I have not done as much as I thought, but it's only the 12th, so maybe, maybe I'll finish it <laughs> by the end of the month. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a good time, though. Having a great month. Hope you guys are. Um, and then my crochet version is a bod uh, pattern I like to do a lot called the Joshua Tree. It features some back loop single crochets and some mini cable stitches. And I finished it, so I will show it to you now. It fits me perfectly. It reminds me of a ski hat. I did go ahead and add this beautiful pom-pom on mine. So there's your colorways in crochet with this. It, it came out gorgeous. I just love it. This is a snap-on pom-pom that I got from Amazon. I've bought some from them before and I'm not sure if I listed that website or the place before but if I remember or if I don't remember remind me and I will tell you where I got them from but it's just a little slight slouchy depending on what size person you are it barely slouches on me but it's it's a beautiful hat this hat will be up in my Etsy shore Etsy store shortly. All you need to do is slow down, Chris, and the words will come out. <laughs> All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed my addictions video today. I hope you're enjoying my mini make along with my cowl. I really love seeing all of your makes. All of you have adjusted it just exactly the way that I said you, you could do. And they're coming out little and big and oh my gosh, it's just wonderful. So I'm hoping to uh, keep going with this and enjoying it with you. And uh, post all your your uh, your makes on that uh, because you only have two weeks and I'm going to draw a winner for that so that we can go on to another one. So I hope to see you all this Saturday on Hook and Stitch Live with Kim the Crafty Nomad and join in on the community. We have a stream yard and we love to have you come on the show and show us your classics that your grandma made or what you're making now, what you're finished this week, what your future plans are, or if you have something that is not crochet or knit and you want to show it, there is a segment for you on there. So yeah. I'm going to talk to you all later, and uh, don't forget, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and share if you can. Bye now.